Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So I bought myself a new TV. The old one was getting a blue, uh, was getting a bluish share on the screen, you know. So the whole, it was a kind of a blue layer on my old uh, LG TV. Hi and welcome back to my channel. If you are already subscribing, thank you and have a good time. If you're not subscribing, Please consider to hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss anything of my content. My name is So. Me and my wife were having over some guests and we were watching the Tilt TV and they were noticing a blue kind of layer on the whole uh, image. And after we uh, saw it, it on a little bit better we also noticed the blue blue kind of layer on top of the on top of the screen itself so and then i was trying to fix it out in the settings and everything but no i couldn't do it so but i couldn't get rid of it so that was the moment we decided to buy ourselves a new tv first i was thinking of a cheaper 4k tv but as a tech nerd and to bulletproof our tv experience and to future proof our whole tv i was thinking about 8k tv so i went online and started searching 8k tv on the google search bar you know when and when you're searching there you will get the best offer and so on and so on and there it was the samsung qn 700B Neo QLED TV. Samsung, kind of last year. At a good, good price. I was saving nearly a thousand dollars on it. So I went to my wife and we talked it over, and she listened to my points and to bulletproof and future proof our TV experience. She agreed that we should go for the 8K over the 4K. And then the moment of truth. I was pressing buy button buy and after a few days some guys came with the tv on our doorstep and carried it in and everything me and my wife of course set it up and wow what a good tv and what a good tv picture it upscales all footage to 8k it has this kind of artificial intelligence that will upscale you know when we got uh, when we got first got introduced to the 4K, there wasn't any there wasn't any anyone producing 4K content, and therefore they were upscaling it. Okay, and the TV now does the same thing, only better. So to connect the TV, you get this kind of fancy box. You know. Uh, a box where you have all the intakes and you can connect your PS5, Apple TV and so on and so on and from that box you can there goes a cable up into the TV so you know when you are trying to get plugged in the TV and you have especially if you are, have a mount wall the TV there's so, so, so little room to connect new cables and you have to basically make surgery on the TV as a doctor and you don't want to do that. It should be easy and with this Samsung TV it's very, very easy. You can see the box right there which goes up to the TV like that. Okay? And when you are <laughs> when you are uh, let's say you are let's say we are going to turn on the Apple TV I'm just pressing menu on the device and then the Apple TV goes on and a few moments later the TV will automatically turn itself on and choose the right port for you so it's very good the same goes with the ps5 it's uh, perfect and yes as mentioned earlier display is 
amazing it has a massive 65 inch tv that delivers an impressive 8k 8k resolution with quantum hdr 16x technology that produces bright and vivid colors with deep blacks the screen also have a wide angle viewing angle that ensures that everyone can see the tv just as good as the one sitting in directly in front of it and also it has some smart smart tv functions the qn 700b runs on samsung tyson's operating system which offers a smooth and user-friendly interface it also have a range of smart functions i'm not a smart man but i know what love is including voice control built-in alexa and google assistant so let's talk a little bit about the connectivity as mentioned earlier it has a range of connectivity options including wi-fi bluetooth HDMI, USB, and Ethernet. It also supports AirPlay 2, which allows you to stream content from your Apple devices directly to your TV. Overall, the Samsung QN700B is a high-end TV with impressive functions and performances. It's perfect for those who want one of the latest in TV technology at a reasonably, reasonably price. I, yes, you can go ahead and buy yourself a QN900, but to a much larger price tag. So, if you are still watching, please give me a comment down below and please give me a thumbs up and please consider subscribing sorry about the first right there but it would really help out the channel a lot cheers and i have a lot of more content here on the channel so right about now approximately you will be given the option to either subscribing or to go watch another of my amazing content here on this channel so thank you and see you on the next video <laughs> cheers